Welcome back. You're watching Global Eye. A Qatar court has accepted an appeal filed by the Indian government against the death penalty granted to eight former Indian Navy personnel. Sources have told CNBC that the matter will be heard soon. Joining us right now to speak about uh, the importance of this development is Ambassador KP Fabian, who has been our ambassador to Qatar in the past. Ambassador Fabian, let me ask you, is this a positive step in the direction of legal relief for our uh, Navy personnel, our former Navy personnel? Well, I have always maintained right from the start that it is uh, most unlikely that they will be executed because the young Amir is uh, 44 or 45, you can check it, uh, you know, is very progressive and there is no question of his permitting execution of eight Indians. But at the same time, India has to make it, make it possible for him to exercise his pardon. And the pardon can be exercised only after the legal process is completed. So we have done the right thing in going to the Court of Appeal. And the Court of Appeal either may revoke the death sentence, but give uh, either life sentence or X years of imprisonment, in which case we can, of yeah. course, avail of the treaty that we have with Qatar that uh, nationals of either country can undergo the sentence in their own country. But uh, in case the Court of Appeal doesn't give, a, you know, revocation, then it will be necessary for mm. us to ask for pardon. And uh, it is quite possible that mm. our Ministry of External Affairs has already taken the necessary action for that. But, you know, these are things they cannot talk right. about freely. Right. Ambassador Fabian, my final question. Uh, this is a very, very sensitive case. Uh, the external affairs minister even met the families of the sailors who are in a jail in Qatar. Uh, do you think, considering the sensitivity around this issue, our uh, Navy personnel would be uh, properly taken care of, their, their human rights respected wherever they are? Uh, and at what stage would India probably take this up at the highest level? Let me put it this way. I personally think, and I could be wrong, because uh, being no longer in the government, I am not privy to all the information. Were I in the External mm -hmm. Affairs Ministry, I would have, on that day when this came out, summoned the Qatari ambassador, not in a you know harsh way, summoned him cordially, just to tell him of the importance we attach to this matter. And secondly, Please listen to me very carefully. The external affairs minister should have spoken to his counterpart in Qatar and, if necessary, gone there. Now, these two things, it seems, have not happened. But nevertheless, I think uh, we have to proceed in the right way. And uh, the right way is, uh, you know, exhausting the legal options and then uh, asking for pardon. Mm. Right. Uh, Ambassador Fabian, thank you so much for joining us telling us uh, the road ahead for uh, our Navy personnel, our former Navy personnel who have been uh, arrested. They have been in a Qatari jail for the last one year and uh, their families are now hoping for their pardon, for their release as well. Let's shift focus now.